last question before we break off. Are yeah. you excited about oh, the test? I am excited. Oh, is it, is I'm excited about anything. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm just looking at Dale there. The tests coming oh, up. Fantastic. Going to be brilliant. So we got the test match. Well, not the test match, but oh, well, might be a test match against France on the Wednesday, aren't we, yeah. at Lee Sports Village. Um, I hope but, it's well supported. Yeah, I, I'm sure it will be. Oh, there's an opportunity missed there. They could have taken that somewhere else, a bit of a development area, played yeah. England, France. But anyway, um, but yeah, the three tests, all live on the BBC. Am I allowed to say that? Of course you can. Thank you. you all live on the BBC. Maybe bleep it out if, uh, yeah. if we get told we have to. And yeah, it's going to be great. I mean, New Zealand come, come again, don't they? You know, after the disaster of the World Cup last year, yeah. they come again. I'll tell you what I'm really excited about, those three. But Australia against Tonga. Um, yeah. at, uh, at the, I think they've already sold 20, 20 or 25, 26,000 right. tickets. And that, for me, you know, you were talking about earlier about the magic of the cup. If you said, what's the best rugby league event you've ever been to, then that semi final, yeah. uh, England against Tonga totally at Auckland, and why they couldn't replicate that again, and they can now, because they yeah. play them again. I think, it's, I think there's 20, 30,000 Tongans live in Tonga, but the diaspora in, in New Zealand, I think there's about 30 or 40,000 actually in New Zealand. Yeah. And they never get the chance to cheer their own yeah. team on. And suddenly they've got a Tongan team, they're on the doorstep, and oh, it was mad. And that, that's gonna be fantastic. But yeah, the, the, the England-New Zealand test series is gonna be, it's gonna be pretty special. I think we're gonna to have to be good to beat them because they, you know, new coach. Mick McGuire coaching for the Kiwis, he's obviously gonna know the Burgess boys really well. Are you expecting all the Burgess boys to be in the squad? And can you give us any names that you think should be considered, maybe oh, both of you, oh, I hate for, for, I hate, for the squad? I hate these games. In that 17, because obviously there's been a few lads picked it. Replicate that. Again, and they can now because they yeah. play them again. I think it's, I think there's 20, 30,000 Tongans live in Tonga, but the diaspora in, in New Zealand, I think there's about 30 or 40,000 actually in New Zealand. Yeah. Right. And they never get the chance to cheer their own yeah. team on. And suddenly they've got a Tongan team, they're on the doorstep. And, oh, it was mad. And that, that's going to be fantastic. But yeah, the, the, the England New Zealand Test Series. It's going to be it's going to be pretty special. I think we're going to have to be good to beat them because they, you know, new coach. Mick McGuire coaching for the Kiwis. He's obviously going to know the Burgess boys really well. Are you expecting all the Burgess boys to be in the squad? And can you give us any names that you think should be considered? Maybe oh, both of you. Oh, I hate for, these. For, I hate, for the squad. I hate these games. In that seventeen, because obviously there's been a few lads picked it in and around the, the bigger picture squad. But who do you I, think's going to make it? I don't know. It's interesting in the halves, isn't it? Because um, Widdop looks like being injured. Yeah, and Kev Brown's retired from International Rugby League, so is it going to be Williams and Gale, or does anybody else get a get a get a, an edge? Would you not give Richardson? Has Danny Richardson not in the spot? Because we were talking about him mid-season. I want him to go to PNG because that's where I'm going. So like, I want to I want to uh, get some yeah. footage of him over there. But it'd be nice to see him take that step up. Is he ready yet? Do you think? I don't know. Well, you're the player. You've played against him. Yeah, you've seen yeah, well, big raps. Is he? I mean, one or two have suggested yeah. he's getting bigger raps than he deserves at this stage. Would you be in that camp? I think when St. Ols is playing well, he's good and he's a big part of it. And that's all that needs a good team around him. And he'll be a good part of it.